countdown to Thanksgiving turkey time is on, especially when it comes to thawing out that bird and then, of course, cooking it. Jackie Kostek has been busy all morning. She rejoins us live from the Butterball headquarters out in Naperville with a turkey expert to help you strategize your feast preparations. How's it going, Jackie? Well, Ryan and Dana, I've learned very early here that I have no idea what I'm doing, which is a good thing I'm not cooking uh, my family a Thanksgiving turkey because this is an absolute disaster if I were in charge. Now, I did learn, so what I was doing, I said in the tease that I was basting. This is not basting. This is actually painting oil. And I'm here with Sam Wolf, who is a turkey talk expert here at Butterball. And Sam, why do you say not to baste? Okay, so when we're basting, that's during the cooking process, mm -hmm. and it involves basting with the juices that are falling below. Yes. And we don't want to baste because we're extending the cooking time. We're going to constantly open up our oven. We're going to drop the temperature, so it actually makes the cooking time go up drastically. Okay, so what I'm doing is actually just sort of coating the skin with some oil, and that is a good thing. You mm -hmm. guys are in support of this. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that is actually going to help with the browning. So gotcha. So you are essentially painting the turkey like we talked yes. about. Lovely. Um, and Making that will help with the golden brown color during cooking. Okay, so if you want a turkey to end up looking like that, there is a lot of prep that goes into making it look like that. Part of it is actually lifting the turkey on this rack, right? That's right. an important part of the preparation. Right. So we suggest a rack such as this um, in your pan. You want to make sure the turkey's not spilling out of the rack like this. If you don't have a rack, um, which some people call panic, they don't have a rack, yeah. we would suggest a coil of a foil. So essentially we just wrapped um, the foil like this, and this can act as a rack. So instead of this rack, I would put this down and put the turkey right on top of this, and that will serve as a rack. If you Perfect. don't have this, you could just use vegetables. Okay. Well, that, oh, that's yeah. nice. Add a little lift. You also say don't put a lot. Some people think that they should put the liquid under the rack, and you guys are sort of, the, you don't need to do no, that. No, you don't need to add liquid. You could just leave it on the rack, and it's good to go. Lovely. Salt, pepper, spices, all of that good stuff mm -hmm. on top of the turkey. Let's talk a little bit about stuffing, because sure. there is this misconception that stuffing the turkey, you're going to have some food safety issues with mm -hmm. that, but you have to do it properly. Right. So what is the right way to do stuffing? So make sure you're stuffing it right before you put it in the oven. Okay. So you don't want this to sit stuffed overnight. Um, that could be a food safety hazard. And the biggest thing is just making sure it's done. So 165 degrees in the center of the stu stuffing once it's done. That's not too hard. No. I think I can actually handle that. Okay, that is good. Uh, well, Sam, say, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, anything else that you think people should know before they get this thing going in two days? Sure. So they can call us at 1-800-BUTTERBALL. Our preferred method is open pan like this, just putting this in the oven at 325, and based on the turkey weight, we'll help guide you on how long it should cook for. You've been doing this for five years, so <laughs> guys, they, she knows a lot more than I do. And that those experts, the Turkey Talk experts, are going to be here uh, all day today, again, starting at at 7 o'clock, so in about 15 minutes, you guys can start making your calls. Uh, and you guys do get some, like, pretty funny calls, right? Yeah, we get tons of funny calls. But <laughs> For people like me. <laughs> what am I doing? Talk me through this, okay? <laughs> Ryan and Dana, we're going to send it back to you. Yeah. Turkey emergency, you never know. You I don't have know. That I, 800 number at the ready. Yeah. <laughs>